guys a lot is actually you know happening in biggie's house like a lot of conversations here and there a lot of unresolved beef here and there anyways i told you guys already that <laughs> you see this particular season there will be lots of gist and that is what i have brought to your doorstep here again so welcome back to my channel okay welcome back to stay with me show me me where you get the gist as it is waiting as it is hurt of course you know there's no sleeping on the best club on the channel if you snooze you do what you lose i yet to subscribe to this channel I used to sit on a fat long thing. Kindly post right there. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist as it hurts? So, guys, talking about the gist as it hurts, this particular video carried loads of gist. First off, we are going to be discussing about the Perez Alex CC thinking. Guys, this thing is not ending anytime soon. And then, secondly, we are having. um um what's it called new and venitas ish guys a lot just a lot and then white money and uriel ish on white money side of the thingy we are just going to be discussing everything right here and now so take a chill pill relax and watch this video to the very end so you don't miss any gist at all so guys um later on um Perry had a conversation with alex concerning still cc ish okay remember um in the morning yesterday's morning because today is a new day alex had a conversation with um pere where they were discussing and alex told pere to be on his own that she just needs to be on her own that there is a narrative that is flying that cc is not happy with pere because of um, pere left her to someone else you understand so i think that really bothered pere so much you understand that alex the, the girl she, he likes literally told him to just be on his own that he doesn't she doesn't want that close close friendship you know if you have been following my videos fervently you would still see where i actually posted where alex as i think the afternoon too was still discussing with princess on how she does not like how she was giving Pere a cold shoulder and princess was like advising her not to continue with the cold shoulder cold shoulder thing and that is not gonna work so which after um the um all the mon uh, monday thingy the nomination and everything and uh, um, Pere and uh, alex had a conversation you know which ensued and Pere was like telling alex that i do not think this is cool then alex was now trying to explain to Pere why she was she did what she did that Pere did not watch that season alex said it need to be too much about cc fans you you understand she said cc fans are the people promoting that her attitude and also that cc made toby go through a lot you know and so you know she said she, she said quite some things you know about um cc but pere is still not really having it as pere do not forget this morning pere also had a conversation with cross right now pere nasty went back to cross and told cross that he wants to have a conversation with um cc so that they will put this thing understand this aspect of cc trying to say you know um this thinking of uh you left me and go and meet alex blah 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 so the plan was the two of them had a plan that they are going to go and then go outside look for where cc is then cross would you know approach cc and then take take her out a bit so that they would have a conversation then pere would join in but as they went outside of the garden pere did not keep to that um, deal with cross as they were going outside together it was pere who went to the garden herself you know i was you know calling cc you know and saying cc please let me can see you are back and people were there i think sheyi was there was white money there i don't think so but some other housemates were there and then cc said wait till they call me for did i just hear my name you understand i said please i'm not going anywhere so cc literally you know ignored that and that got to pere <laughs> you know pere and his ego so they now went and cross was like telling pere but that's not what we discussed we discussed when i come out then i'll be the one to talk to her after the front and back, and back then, uh, Pere was like, you see, initially Biggie asked me about if I want to mend this friendship with this lady. And I said yes, but right now I do not give an F about her anymore. She should just, you know, go, you know. So now um, that was how um, Pere now left it and then met Alex, told Alex that she wanted to confront CC, But see what happened. Alex said, why do you want to confront her? How are you sure that the person who told me? actually understand the context of where she was coming from alex is trying to cover it up so that it will not escalate to something else you know that was how it now happened then cc now had a because cc told cross that i 
after cross finished that cross should come that they've not had time together to discuss so when cross came you know cc was not telling um cross they were not having the conversation and cross was not telling cc see what's up see what thing they happen then cc was like that she need to be sincere with him that Perry start to change towards her because of she started getting close to cross now guys see the two ways this thing is going that she started getting cl close to cross you understand and then Perez told her that so now it's cross you're getting closer to now you see reverse is becoming the case from cross angle alex heard that um cc started doing this because of um Perez. Perez get close to alex now cross don't they hear again say now nah, because of <laughs> he's getting close to alex that is why he's best which is he, he calls his brother is not you know happy with cc now guys which of the story is literally true because now they are just taking us in in cycle like that we are just going in cycle so we don't understand which of this is true now did Pere actually told CC that so you are now moving to cross? And I think Pere did that, but I don't think it is a context of um I don't know how to put them. Like I don't think it's in the context of, you know, I don't go close to cross. You know that kind of you know your party be like it should be they go close to this person. But I think CC read it the other way because even CC was telling Cross about how um Pere was actually, you know, making mention of some words. You understand that was how I knew some of this thing the is on the social space. That's how some of your fans, your fave reacts because Cici was like it's even cross that is using some sweet names and some other things. That cross and um, Perry was even telling her that I use something wifey to save your name and all of that. That though she does not want anything sheep in this season, but she feel that your friend should be for you when things you know is going the other way. Guys, this is an um Perez matter. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. So, what do you even think about this um, triangle that is going on? Because this is not the only gist I want to discuss with you all, and it is taking a lot of the time. So, I will just keep it, okay? I would like you guys to let me know what you think about them while we enter other gist, okay? Coming from Becky, avoid friends like CC. When they stop talking to you, they find every means to bring you down. Now, the thing is, do you think um CC telling Cross? about that thing um Perez said do you think it was right how can you be telling somebody you know that they are so so close you are not telling the same person something and i think that thing Perez said is just kind of joke i don't take that one anyways let's enter another gist so guys i told you guys this um nomination thing is on another level remember venita had to go to new for you know to liaise with new about mentioning her name and all of that which new said she, he owes his loyalty to Tolani Badge. Okay. After that, I was thinking everything matter don't end though, guys. I never knew. At the point, I was hearing you from the kitchen saying he does not owe anybody his loyalty. That he's not here to do sister or family thingy. You know. But later on today, I was seeing Venita was just on I go go like having ice pack, you know. Her eye glass, her sunglass or whatever. She has it on. As you can see on this picture, I was thinking everything is fine and cool until I saw her, you know, crying and she was with her, you know, trying to cool it off. I do not know it's still about that new and whatever. So later on, after um, she tried to calm her down, she had a conversation with new. New was in the kitchen and new was telling she that Tolani Bad is actually crying. So now I do not know what transpired between them. I do not know whether Venita said something, but new was saying something about Venita, you know, bringing CC. You understand that Venita did not even bring in anybody. Who is now went and bring, not even bring Mercy or EK. Now went and bring CC for CC and them him to you know liaise on mentioning whatever you know, and that CC was even making joke of that thing. You understand? He was not saying that that um, Venita has more chances than him in this house. That, that Venita had more people. Venita had more people to liaise with in the house. Now he wants him to give up the only person. Who got his back in the house but if you check what neo was saying neo is right okay if this is not a family show and i think tolani badge and neo are the two people who are close but i think i do not know how venita came across the thing you understand i do not know how she said some whatever she said to neo and neo was not finding it funny do you understand and now neo also told shayi that tolani is crying now i think we'll get the full detail of this gist maybe as the house needs to keep on having conversation because as i as at this time i am speaking to you all conversation is still brewing up left and right and do you know the problem with this house is just that this house doesn't let these other people have conversation in peace you will see two people discussing and next thing you will see housemates coming in because mercy and Fred are actually having the conversation about venita and then new and then alex will come 
Adekule will come. They will just be interrupting until Fraud had to go and cook. But we'll get to the very end. Anyways, New and Ilebae actually settled. They hugged it off. They have settled their differences. New apologized. Ilebae also apologized. Okay. But the netizens are like, why is New disturbing Ilebae now? Was it not the same Neo who did whatever he did? You understand? And Ilibay still insists on her whatever she was saying. She said Neo made her seem like she does not know what she's doing. That Neo made her seem like she's forcing a thing. You understand? So it may seem as though Ilibay know what she was saying then. You know, and Neo is trying to bring himself as the hot boy thinking. So, but after everything, they sorted it out and they hug it off, right? So, guys, um, then Mercy, I'm trying to curtail this, okay, so that it will not get too, you know, too long. So then, talking about things happening in Biggie's house, Mercy was having a conversation with um fraud, like I told you. Before I continue, let's read this out. Biggie's house is a, the house is bringing division between friends and siblings. Every two seconds, plotting and planning na real zone. I'm gonna try jumping some words for a reason, okay? Now the thing is, guys, the thing is right now. I think Fina, as, oh, I said Fina because I saw Fina's name here. I think uh, Mercy is trying to be careful right now with Venita because she was having a conversation with uh, Fraud and she was like telling Fraud that look at what transpired between Neil and Venita that she really do not even find it, you know, funny that coming from Neil's side explained everything Neil was saying, you understand? And now started lamenting again on what Ebuka said about friends from outside. Mercy was like in her own past, she's always loyal to her friends, you know. When they were having this conversation, Venita came, they hugged. Venita was telling Mercy, you did not hug me well, are you not happy with me? So guys, that's why I think we need to hear the real gist about this thing. Now, Fraud and um, Mercy could not have that full conversation conversation but we'll get to that conversation fully when it happened but you know my own is to be bringing the approach to you guys as they heard so this is what we saw and i think friendship don't they you know don't they scatter because hey <laughs> now i think mercy do not really you know i don't think because of course venita actually um the, uh, mentioned ek in the diary room so now mercy is trying to be careful and try to tell fraud that fr that she actually trusts fraud and also that able to say something about friendship and loyalty that he she is being careful right now but they did not finish the conversation and then fraud had to go continued cooking the indomie as at this morning you know now any morning that they eat their indomie their noodles on the other hand Natives have been coming for Doin because Doin have been saying some things about beauty. I think Doin and beauty actually had a fallout or something, you know, because Doin was having a conversation with Ilebae, you know, and then um, Doin told Ilebae that I'm not even sure she'll be rooting for me outside, which is beauty, you know, and then um um Ileba now asked Doin that I thought you and Beauty are cool. What really happened between you guys? And um then Doin was trying to explain. I don't know, Doin was saying something about being invited in channels. If you remember there was a time, I do not know if you're a favorite viewer of my channel, there was a, there was a time I posted a video where Ebuka was celebrated, you know, on channels TV where Beauty and Prince were, were there. You know, so I think Doin was saying something that she was supposed to be there as she was trying to explain what happened. The camera now removed Doin's um conversation with Ilebae but then the viewers have been you know making it um making it a thing of you know more um joke and everything that um um what is it called that <clears throat> that beauty is actually forcing anything that beauty does not treat her friends well you know and the persons are coming for doing that how would doing be spilling a lot about her friends you understand like some of this conversation here are people you know trying to refer to why would doing be doing all of this okay let's just read that of Izzy sugar the beauty did not have my back after the show. Meanwhile, this was beauty immediately after Doyin got out of the house. Friendship has ended now. Everyone should face their front. This is coming from um, Izzy Sugar. And Izzy Sugar posted this uh, with a picture of Doyin having a, a, a money um, dollar cake. How do they call that thing? You know, how beauty welcomed her in the house. Guys, I don't know what that is. But I think Doyin is actually saying a lot that she's not supposed to say on camera about her friends. Okay, coming from Oracle, the timing of Uriel's on of white of white money this night is highly suspicious. Why in the middle of nomination session, Uriel now proper drama queen? I remember how she okay, Uriel now proper drama queen. I remember how she subtly lobbied housemates every Sunday morning by pretending to be such a great listener and getting them to talk to her and open up in the 2017 Sea Gobe season. I know how well, Lord. I think it is just her way of ensuring her visibility on her strategy. Guys, this thing, um, 
oracles just say just remind me of one of one to one of my viewers just said in the comment section about viewers when i was talking about um one of um two housemates that are gamers i mentioned ek and um kid wire and that person mentioned Uriel. and when that person mentioned Uriel, it now occurred to me that Uriel is actually a game player because that lady during their sets what oracle said that's what she does you know now, why money have been explaining to CC, doing, led by people that are around him that even asked for that, has he ever dragged anything like maybe me or anything with them? Frost said no, even the, the other time, mentioned the issue of the goat meat, that it was even Frost's own, you know, how the thing come up, it was even Frost's own, you know, and everything, and why money was saying... Um, Uriel actually did apologize to her yesterday for for not doing anything. She just came, hugged her, and apologized to her. She was like, "Ah, what did you do? Why are you apologizing? Only to come out today again to do this work." You understand? So he was like, "Now wondering what is happening." So some people are saying he should go and you know confront Uriel, have a conversation with her that something might lead to that. But Doyin is telling to my own white money that there is no need to go. If you call somebody your friend, you should not address that person in public like that. So guys, the way it is going with this housemate uh, we are going to be going front and front and back for them but that's what we are here for right to discuss about them and to gist they should continue giving us the drama while we talk about them meanwhile guys i would be dropping my voice here we will talk better later in the morning okay because this gist is quite much so we'll talk better later in the morning right i have to stop my voice here to see you guys later in the morning bye for now babies mm -hmm.